Mom sentenced to 190 years for confining her daughter in, wait for it, a chicken coop. Bro, are you kidding me? That's not even enough. 190? No, no, no. This chick needs a thousand, a million. Like, how could you do stuff like this to your own daughter? Like, it's not even like this is just some random person and you're twisted. Like, this is literally a kid you birthed. I just don't understand what goes wrong in these people's brains where they go, yo, yeah, this is what I want to do. Keep her in a chicken coop. Ugh. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy Long Nail back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash I am a total POS. Let's get into it. I helped my inabated CV-19 patient FaceTime with her husband and kids for Christmas. When we reached them, the family was in a large group at some friend's house. I don't understand how you still ignore all precautions when your spouse has been prone and paralyzed and vented. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all fake. And there is no consequence and people don't get hurt. What? Literally somebody in your own family is suffering a lot right now because of it. And still you go, well, well you know, we, we all need to get together. Like, uh, what? No, just stay apart so that more people don't end up like whoever this is in your family. Like, come on, dude. The ops are patrolling the VED testing lines to find drivers who are on their phones. Bro, find something better to do. This is really all you can do. People that are doing the right thing, going and getting tested, and you go, oh, they're sitting in a line not moving and they're on their phone while they wait for a half an hour to get the test. Yeah, well, let's give them a fine because we need more of your money. Like, come on, dude, find something better to do. This is not what you should be doing. This is not the help we need from you guys. The person who decided to, I don't know, throw this cat into a trash bin for it to be found all the way in the sorting center. Like, are you kidding me, dude? There's so many civil, easy, carefree, literally free ways to rehome a cat. And this is what you do? Oh, yeah, let's just throw it in the trash bin. No, dude. If you are going to have a pet that you don't want anymore, which is unfortunate to begin with, at least find them a new home or, or do something. Take them to a shelter. Anything. Don't just throw them in your trash can. Whoever was my awesome porch pirate, that Amazon parcel you took was for my mom, who just had her right hand amputated. It's a can opener and bottle opener for people with one hand. She just got out from the hospital yesterday. It'd be great to have that back. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't think you'll be getting that back anytime soon because people that do this have absolutely no morals. And I wouldn't be shocked even if they saw this very post and they knew it was talking to them exactly, they still will go, not my problem. Like, oh, you guys suck. Story time. My son sometimes screams like a girl. So the fiance and I make fun of him and call him Brycelina. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. <laughs> and he's been acting like a baby. So my fiance told him he was telling Santa he was acting like a girl and Santa would give him girl gifts. Well, I couldn't help myself and bought my son, my seven-year-old, a baby girl doll. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cracked myself up. Which will be the first present he opens tomorrow from Santa. I cannot wait for his reaction. Yes, I'll be recording it. It's going to be priceless. Oh, bro. Why do people want to do this to their own children? Yo, let, let's embarrass my child. Make him think he's getting an awesome gift. Make him real happy. And then just ruin the holidays for the rest of the life for him. Because, I don't know, because he screams like a girl sometimes, which a lot of people do when they're scared. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Gosh, we are so original, creative, and funny. Octopuses are ocean jerks that punch fish. Despite its extraordinary intelligence, the life of an octopus is a solitary one. So perhaps it's no wonder that the mighty brain cephalopod engages in a little thuggery to relieve the boredom. 
scientists have discovered that on occasions, an octopus will jab a fish for no reason other than spite. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess this kind of belongs in this subreddit, but it's not nearly as mean as a lot of the stuff that these people in this subreddit do. So you know what? Octopus, I guess in this context, we'll cut your break. You keep throwing them jabs, man. Dad loses hundreds in PlayStation 5 con while trying to buy his son a console for Christmas because you can't do anything nice anymore without always having to worry about, oh, am I getting scammed here? Like you buy something and then you feel that sinking in your stomach where you're like, oh, I know I just gave away 500 bucks that I'll never see again to some absolute scumbag. That's why I mostly buy stuff from Amazon or in person because it's trustworthy. Iggy Azalea continues exposing Playboy Cardi claims he was playing PlayStation while their son was born. <laughs> just imagine being in that room like, hey babe, check this out. I just got a ceiling shot in Rocket League. And then she's like, bro, literally I'm giving birth. Can you stop? Hey yeah, bro, we just joined overtime. Just a few more minutes. Like this man is literally playing games while his wife is in excruciating pain, birthing their child. No, 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 but bro, I, I totally get it. That game is way more important than this literally once in a lifetime experience. Scalping is getting ridiculous. This was outside of a Best Buy, classless. This dude went in that Best Buy, bought a PlayStation for 500 bucks and is now sitting outside that exact same Best Buy selling them for $950. Oh, bro, I just hope people wait and don't buy from these people who scalp and sell them for double the price. Like, oh, uh, I hope nobody buys from this dude and he gets stuck with that. Like, oh, I hope he gets stuck with hundreds of them and just has to eat the cost. I can't stand people that do this. Does anyone know if there are any places in the area to take the kids to see Santa without plexiglass? I've seen some places doing it outside, but they're all so far. Plus, my kids have a cold, so they're pretty bored at home. Wait, let me get this straight. So you want your kids to go out and sit on somebody's lap, but there can't be plexiglass, but you're telling me your kids are sick? Sounds like the only ones you should be going to if you really, really need to take them would be to the ones with plexiglass and them wearing masks and Santa wearing a mask. But no, 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 your kids are sick. Yeah, let's take them uh, to a Santa that doesn't have plexiglass so that we can get everybody sick. Sounds great. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash I am a total POS. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. Till next time, peace.